Okay, to get us started, we need to create a new model within the Gropner transmitter. After power up, you can hit the escape key to get past the pop-ups. Then clicking the enter key will bring up a list of sub-menus. You want to choose model memory at this point, and then select model, and scroll to an open memory position. After clicking enter, scroll to the icon that best represents the vehicle you're setting up. We're now ready for the next step. To prepare for binding, we need to make a connection between flight core and the Grapner receiver. To make this connection, we use M cable 18. This plug goes into the Grapner receiver, and these two into flight core. The plug with the single wire goes into port J12, which is the RC in, and the plug with the two wires goes into port J9 for Vi Volt and ground. This is the Grapner GR16 receiver. The label of the receiver lays out ports 1 through 8 as well as denotes the polarity of each port. We'll make our connection to flight core by plugging M cable 18 into port number 8. Once you've made your connection, you can set the receiver to the side where you can easily access it during the binding process. When you're ready to bind, power up your Grapner transmitter, go into your submenus, and select RF settings. Use your arrow keys to scroll down to RX bind, and now just leave the transmitter in this state while you power up your drone. With the transmitter on the RX bind screen, go ahead and power up the drone. You'll notice a red flashing LED on the receiver. What we need to do now is press the set button on the receiver and hold it down for three seconds. After about three seconds, you should see the LED flash red and green. Once you see it flash red and green, hit the enter button on the transmitter. If the bind is successful, you'll get a solid green LED on the receiver. If it doesn't work the first time, power cycle the drone and repeat the process. To put the Gropner system into SBUS mode, press the telemetry key from your home screen. You can now use the arrow keys to scroll through the different menus. Select setting and data view. Use your right arrow key to scroll to the last page. Now scroll down to channel out type and press enter. If your transmitter is not already set to SBUS mode, you need to scroll through and find SBUS mode and select it. The Grapner MZ12 Pro has no default switch mappings, so we're going to have to make those ourselves. Go into your menus and select Control Settings. Channels 5 through 12 should all be available and you can map them to any switch you would like to use. If you scroll to the right, you'll see travels and you can adjust those for any given switch. Once you decide which channel you want to map, simply click enter 
and then toggle the switch of choice and it's mapped.